got a bonus Wednesday off. Um, I had actually put in for this Wednesday off uh, a couple of months ago, I think. Sorry, food just got delivered. Uh, anyway, yeah, I uh, had forgot that I took a random Wednesday off um, and just decided to do a little day trip into the gorge. So I am now here at Freem uh, Brewing in beautiful Hood River, and actually it's a freaking awesome day. Like, as soon as I got past Cascade Locks, a little closer to Hood River, uh, the sun came out, it's blue sky, mid-50s. Um, haven't been to this tap room for a while. It's one of my favorites. Actually, it's probably my favorite now that Gary sold Trusty Brewing, but um, had to get a flight, of course. Um, first one's a Midwest IPA, uh, then their Mosaic Pale, Belgian Blonde, Belgian Dark Strong, a Druif Blanc, which is going to be a I, I don't know if you want to call it a sour. Um, it's a wild fermentation, I'm sure. So there's going to be some funk in it, probably. But um, and anybody that knows me, I keep talking about that I normally am not into sours and wild ales, but I am trying to. I keep trying them. And if I'm going to try one, of course I'm going to try Freem's because they just they don't make bad beer. All their beer is good, even if it's not your favorite style. And then they have a vanilla uh, barrel aged stout that is also on the flight list. So, yeah, uh, took SR-14 out and uh, did Beacon Rock on the way here. That was a great hike up and down. Um, it's all incline up, so it's a good workout. You know, 15, 20 minutes to get to the top, and then you take in the view. Um, came back down, headed on to Hood River here, and uh, just going to enjoy a little bit of time here at Freem. Um, their waterfront location is awesome, and I didn't start this podcast with an intent to uh, to be a salesperson for free. But anyway, every time I come here, their outdoor patio with the big fire pit, um, and it's right on the waterfront. So you have this great view of the Columbia River looking straight across to White Salmon, um, and especially on these beautiful days, it's awesome. Very peaceful, very calm. I've always loved the vibe of the Freem Tap Room here. Even when it's crazy busy, um, it's just a cool environment. So, very relaxing and peaceful. And I can just sit here with a Freem beer and stare across the river at the mountains and the water and, you know, just contemplate stuff. Uh, a lot of amazing stuff happening. I got to meet Jersey Joe last night. Um, me and Pam went over to their house and made them dinner and hung out and got to hold Jersey a lot. Um, she is a sweet little baby, very mellow. And I told them all, I told them both, it hit me right when I got there and had Jersey in my arms. Um, I haven't held a baby that young, literally like two days old, I haven't held a baby that young since I held my daughter when she came out of uh, her mom's womb. So, of course I started blubbering and tearing up, uh, but it was super cool. Um, and, really love that time with them and then in a month about a month right around uh, April 14th cross my fingers April 14th uh, Alex should be having another baby so that's gonna be amazing and then later at the end of April we have the uh, birthday party for um, for Oakley over in Hermiston and it is a thank goodness for me it's a Barbie themed birthday party uh, which means I have to come up with some kind of a kin I'm going to be. And I already have an idea. I just don't want to uh, announce it. Um, but me and Pam are going to go over for that and do our things. I'm getting so much mileage out of this stupid Barbie movie. Especially since uh, Ryan Gosling performed I'm Just Ken on the Oscars, which I've watched it like ten times. I love that video and I love that song. I'm learning how to play it on guitar. It's freaking amazing background noise sorry but I think you can still hear me yes. so I'm gonna try the Belgian dark strong amazing as always and I don't think I mean super annoying here because I picked a, uh, a table back away from everybody against the wall so that um, they probably can't even hear me with the music um, and obviously nobody's gonna get in my camera um, Nobody's going to get recorded without permission because it's uh, facing a wall. So. 
Uh, yeah, we got uh, Get Lit at the Beach coming up the same weekend that Alex is going to be due. So that's, uh, that's going to be a struggle for Pam. She may just have to stay at home that weekend so she's closer to Alex, um, assuming that if the baby doesn't hasn't come yet. Uh, but I am definitely looking forward to Get Lit at the Beach, the 10-year anniversary of this event. It's going to be awesome. Um, and... Uh, yeah, that's our little Cannon Beach getaway is always amazing. Um, I would love for Pam to be with me, but I also understand if it's going to create more stress, that uh, she should just stay at home. Uh, again, assuming that Alex hasn't had the baby yet. So, um, oh, so this is the Druif Blanc. Let's see how funky it is. say it was I wouldn't say it was a complete you know pucker thing sour but it definitely is a wild ale um, and it's it's amazing um, well made well crafted still not my favorite style of beer but it, that one's good so I am gonna stop this one I think uh, or maybe just pause it because I need to dive into the food I'm starving